Hello and welcome back to Technology Explained. Today we're going to explore the world of space shuttles, specifically the orbiter. This unique space shuttle is one of the most effective vehicles for space exploration, and in this video we're going to take a closer look at how it is made and how it works. But before we dive into that, let's first understand what space shuttles are and what they're used for. Space shuttles are reusable spacecraft designed for transportation of astronauts, payloads, and experiments to and from space. The first space shuttle, the Enterprise, was built by NASA and made its first test flight in 1977. Since then, space shuttles have been used for a variety of purposes in space exploration. One of the main uses of space shuttles is launching and repairing satellites. Satellites are essential for communication, navigation, weather monitoring, and many other applications. The Space Shuttle is ideal for deploying and servicing satellites in orbit, as it can carry large payloads and has the ability to perform precision maneuvers in space. Another important use of Space Shuttles is conducting scientific experiments in space. The microgravity environment of space provides unique opportunities for research in areas such as materials, science, biology, and physics. Space shuttles have carried a wide range of experiments to and from space, allowing scientists to make groundbreaking discoveries and advancements in their respective fields. Building and maintaining the International Space Station, ISS, is another critical function of space shuttles. The ISS is a massive structure that orbits Earth, serving as a research laboratory and a hub for space exploration activities. The space shuttle was instrumental in transporting modules, supplies, and astronauts to and from the ISS during its construction and maintenance phases. Spacewalks are another important function of space shuttles. Spacewalks allow astronauts to perform maintenance on space vehicles, deploy and retrieve satellites, and perform scientific experiments in space. The space shuttle was designed to be able to support spacewalks, as it has an airlock and a robotic arm that can assist astronauts during the spacewalk. Overall, space shuttles are essential tools for space exploration, allowing humans to reach new heights and make groundbreaking discoveries in space. Over the years, space shuttles have completed many significant missions. Perhaps one of the most famous was the launch of the Hubble Space Telescope in 1990. This telescope has been instrumental in expanding our understanding of the universe and has allowed us to see deeper into space than ever before. Another well-known mission was the launch of the Chandra X-ray Observatory in 1999. This observatory has been instrumental in discovering black holes, neutron stars, and other phenomena that emit X-rays. Other notable missions include the launch and repair of the International Space Station, the launch of the Galileo spacecraft to study Jupiter and its moons, the launch of the Ulysses spacecraft to study the Sun's polar regions, the launch and repair of the Space Shuttle Columbia, which helped pave the way for future space exploration. The orbiter was first introduced in the early 1980s by NASA as part of its Space Transportation System, STS program. The STS program was created to develop a reusable spacecraft that could carry payloads and astronauts to and from space. The goal of the program was to create a more cost-effective and reliable way to access space. The orbiter was the centerpiece of the STS program and was designed to be reusable, which was a major departure from previous space shuttle designs. The orbiter was capable of carrying a crew of up to seven astronauts and could be used for a wide range of missions, including satellite deployment, space station construction, and scientific research. The first orbiter to make a test flight was the Enterprise in 1977. The Enterprise was a prototype vehicle that was not designed for spaceflight but was used for testing and evaluation purposes. The first orbiter to actually make it into space was the Columbia, which launched on April 12, 1981, on the STS-1 mission. The orbiter was a significant advancement in space shuttle technology, as it was designed to be more efficient and reliable than previous space shuttle designs. The orbiter was capable of returning to Earth and landing on a runway, which made it more reusable than previous space shuttles that were only capable of landing in water. This meant that the orbiter could be used for multiple missions which reduced the cost of spaceflight. In addition, the orbiter was designed to be more flexible than previous space shuttles, which allowed it to be used for a wide range of missions. The orbiter was equipped with a payload bay that could carry large payloads, making it ideal for deploying satellites and conducting scientific experiments in space. 
Overall, the orbiter was a significant achievement in space shuttle technology and helped pave the way for future space exploration missions. Its reusable design and flexibility made it an essential tool for scientific research and space exploration. The orbiter was made using a variety of materials, including aluminum, titanium, and carbon composites. It was constructed using a combination of manual labor and advanced robotics, which allowed for precision manufacturing. The key components of the orbiter include the payload bay, which is used to transport payloads and experiments to and from space, the crew module, which houses the astronauts during the mission, the main engines, which provide the thrust needed to launch the orbiter into space. In addition, the orbiter was equipped with several systems to make it more effective, including the thermal protection system, which protected the orbiter from the extreme temperatures of re-entry into Earth's atmosphere, the guidance and navigation system, which allowed for precise control of the orbiter during the mission, the environmental control system, which provided the necessary oxygen, water, and temperature regulation for the astronauts during the mission. The manufacturing process of the orbiter was complex and required a significant budget. It is estimated that the cost of each orbiter was around $1.7 billion. However, the reusable nature of the orbiter made it more cost-effective in the long run, as it reduced the need for new spacecraft for each mission. The orbiter worked by launching using rocket boosters and an external fuel tank. Once in space, it could maneuver using its main engines and reaction control system. The orbiter was equipped with several systems to allow for precise control during the mission, including the guidance and navigation system, which used a combination of sensors and instruments to provide precise location information, the reaction control system, which used small thrusters to adjust the orbiter's orientation and direction, the main engines, which provided the thrust needed for the orbiter to change its velocity and trajectory, the orbiter was also equipped with a thermal protection system, which protected it from the extreme temperatures of re-entry into Earth's atmosphere. Once it returned to Earth, the orbiter could land on a runway using its landing gear. While the orbiter is no longer in use today, it was an important vehicle for space exploration during its time. Its unique design and capabilities allowed for significant scientific discoveries and advancements in space technology. In addition, many of the technologies developed for the orbiter are still in use today, including the thermal protection system and the guidance and navigation system. And that's it for today's video on the Orbiter Space Shuttle. We hope you enjoyed learning about how it was made and how it worked. The orbiter was an important part of space exploration history, and its unique design and capabilities allowed for significant scientific discoveries and advancements in space technology. If you have any questions or comments about the orbiter, please leave them down below. We'd love to hear your thoughts on this fascinating spacecraft. And if you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more great content. We're passionate about technology and love exploring the latest advancements in science and engineering. If you want to learn more about space shuttles and other fascinating topics in technology, be sure to check out our other videos on our channel. We have a wide range of content, from deep dives into complex engineering projects to overviews of the latest gadgets and devices. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.